Gracias. <tose> The health effects of uh, this drought are uh, immense. Uh, we are looking at a situation where the 60% of the population of this county is dependent on pastoralism as a way of life and a source of income. And uh, because of this severe drought uh, in which we have got four rainy seasons that have failed, a lot of uh, animals have died, the few that is remaining have migrated out and the entire population dependent on this, uh, uh, you know, uh, for livelihood is affected. The most vulnerable group that is affected is children below the age of five years. And uh, we have had a situation uh, where we are now seeing very many children being admitted for severe form of malnutrition. As a, as a ministry, now we have 106 children admitted across the health facilities. Uh, very many of them are not only malnutrition, but malnutrition with complications because of the low immunity. We have got uh, uh, children uh, getting, uh, you know, uh, TB infection, pneumonia, diarrheal diseases, and these kind of things. Uh, we are also uh, uh, very cognizant of the fact that uh, the moment immunity goes down as a result of malnutrition, disease outbreaks, particularly measles, is, uh, is one of the things that has been sequentially happening following severe drought. We are already having uh, a few reports from uh, Mandera West sub-county uh, of children presenting with that kind of symptoms and uh, we have sent our surveillance teams to collect sample for us to be able to verify. The next group of people that is very severely impacted is the pregnant and uh, lactating women. And uh, this is again another huge problem because they present with anemia and pregnancy, those that are pregnant with malnutrition, and consequently, they will end up with low birth weight babies. Uh, again, that becomes another problem at birth. Uh, therefore, as a, county, as a county department of health, we are trying to do interventions in terms of uh, outreach nutritional support, rehabilitation of uh, admitted children, and support of uh, the mothers. We are giving iron supplementation and dewarming. Uh, on top of other uh, actions that other humanitarian partners and the county government is doing in terms of providing food and uh, you know uh, ration sustenance plus cash transfers to be able to uh, uh, for the people to be able to withstand the dire effects of this drought mivugo umemwia mivugo umeanza kukufa imekufa zamani sasa wananchi ndio iko hali yake hatarini hatari sana hatari sana kwa hivyo tunaomba wafadhili na serikali watu 
watu wanaweza kufa haraka haraka wana karibuni kama hii me, 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 mezi hii tarehe 15 tarehe 20 bado bado nyesha mvua mzuri mambo itakuwa mbaya kwa hivyo wananchi watu wanaweza kufa kwa hivyo tunaomba serikali na wafadhili wajaribu kusaidia watu